Mganga ameshindwa kujiganga aganguliwe na nani? Sabuni imekwisha kuchafuka itoshwa na nini? Ndilo swali ya kilini. Na wazo na akili, roho inaoma na maini, amani bila chakula tumboni ni sawa na kuoa bibi watatu na wote ni tasa mipango ya Mungu. Lakini at the end of the day, akili mingi kisha ondoa maarifa. Hii ndio taarifa kushinda ya saa saba redio. Chakula kipeleko tukana kwa lazima. If you also don't believe and then kwa mganga ama pay a visit to Loliondo. These governments are full of nonsense. Cameras don't lie. So if they tell you people are dying, that is the gospel truth. They are dying. Even if not for humanity, do something for the sake of decreasing votes and the census. Pretenders, you come in the name of peace. But you know no peace if people are dying and you are busy denying death is not a friend. It doesn't tell you when it is coming. Rest in peace, innocent souls. The government you voted for has refused to feed you. It has abandoned you. It is behaving like a stepmother. Maybe for fear you will grow strong and overturn it. Or maybe for you to lack the strength to go to the streets. Same streets where justice is hawked like Mukombero on the streets of Kakamega. That is a quote from Jerome Ogola, the self-declared president of the hoof-eating clan. I wish he were president. His thoughts are more than those of all elected leaders combined. Those who feed on our blood for success, after draining our pockets with till numbers for campaigns, they are now busy building Africa. As if that is not enough, them that kept us in the sun cheering them and they gave us false promises are the same whose silence is too loud as maize rolled in the cereal's board, some still in farmers' stores on board. People are dying, the tyranny of numbers is dying, or is it because you don't care? After all, this is a carefree country. Who cares for the other except your own mother? Our mothers who have watched us die with hunger but still holding on to hope. Our graves have been being turned into your dance floors. We feel the pain, but where do we run to? Everybody is weak. We don't have the strength. We cry, but our eyes are dry from hunger. No single tear drop. For the few that will remain, please tell this to our grandchildren that once upon a time, we had a government, a government that failed and refused to feed its people. And so all the people died except a few who will be telling that story. You will say they didn't live to see you, their grandchildren. Document this. You will point to our graves and confess the way we were dying and you couldn't help. Tell them the leaders of that time never cared. They took to podiums and TV interviews to lie to the people that not a single soul had died. Tell them the truth, that they feasted after importing maize at the expense of their farmers. Remind them that it was not our own will to die. We had been sucked to the bones and had nothing left on to feed. Tell them the musician they had reprimanded for dancing with open legs came to the aid of a few. And that is why you are alive at that time. Teach them that the next world will not have presidents or kings. It will not have MCAs and governors to eat our taxes. After all, there are no taxes there. It will have no parliament that is full of hungry hyenas that want to reap where they did not sow. The hyenas that raise only 100% quorum when they are discussing salary increment. But not the two-third gender rule. Please, tell them we died after the few ate our share. Okay, Mwalimu wa Street.